Okay, so guys, here is a USB Wi-Fi device. And before I make videos with my other Wi-Fi devices, different kind of like this and this. Uh, but this one, I have another device. So I'm choosing the different devices because many people sometimes they have different devices. So why not let them give them more option so they can apply a different method with the different devices. So here is a simple Wi-Fi device. But first, before I start video, uh, one thing I want to show you here. But uh, but the main thing I want to put a stopwatch so you can see that before I start video here, everything is working non-stop. Here, here is the stopwatch is working, and here you can see no internet. And if no internet here. You can see here, no data on, no internet on, nothing. And if I try to connect something, you can see nothing work. Same thing. Okay, I'm going to on the Amazon. Here you can see, no, no work. So simple and easy method. Normally what I do it, here you can see no SIM card even in the phone. What happened normally, what I do is, uh, normally I use the mobile background. And I put a lot of my videos, I put the SIM back, I put the other things back. But this time, I'm going to show you the USB SIM card, how it can work. So, phone, we can put it here on the side. I don't want to put another side, it should be here. Okay. Stopwatch is here, it's running in front of you. So now, what we're going to do with this USB modem. Take SIM card, this is Vodafone SIM card. And... I'm going to place the SIM on the back side, one side, near the WPS password, exactly in the middle, with the aluminium foil tape most of the time I use. And the opposite side, as here I can show you, this is a magnet, 1mm thick and 1cm diameter wide. So this magnet will be exactly put it a little bit in the middle okay exactly on the back of the same and then place from half modem completely just like just like that you can see this all area is completed already now maybe question how we connect this device to our Wi-Fi, uh, to our mobile. I need a connector here. I am using the connector. My phone is Type C, so I'm using Type C connector. This is original connector from Samsung. I'm going to place USB here. I hope you understand everything. Connect and place it just like that. One, two, three. It's connected. Hope you can see the light is green if any problem the light can be red but here you can see the green light is constantly on if i bring out the light will be off right here and here one two three okay here you can see the light is on right here you can see it's no internet here everything done now let's try go to the background same try again click on try again and boom thumbs up for that our internet is working Okay, better I put this time it's here, so it's not cover. So yeah, perfect. Okay, now let's go to speed test and try the speed test. Yeah, more than 20, 22, 23 MB speed. And then let's try to Google App Store. As you can see before, it was. Now let's try to download some more game. Pokemon. You can see it's downloading from Google App Store. So guys, it's very simple and easy method with your home. <coughs> you can connect <coughs> your devices, different kind of, if you have iPhone, you can use iPhone connector. If you have micro US, uh, USB, you can use another connector. So here's the simple and easy method and it's not harmful to anyone. You can just, when you want to remove, you can just, here you can see the light is turned on. When you remove it, the light completely turned off from here. So here you can see how to make unlimited free data lifetime. This is demonstration, educational purpose video. And yeah, simple. Everything, nothing is harmful for your modern here. 
Here you can bring out one side your SIM card and then here this is I'm using Vodafone SIM so one thing remember that SIM should be activated activated mean not dead or not blocked inside I have a little bit internet should be working some people they try dead SIM or just non-active SIM so they have a problem with that so, but this modem is an old modem you can see might be you can get it two dollar or three dollar hardly but this is some old modem I'm using but Eddie Max and if you have another you can use another one also but I hope you like the video a very simple and easy method and yeah now you can see the video is almost 8 minute 40 second because I start the time but here you can see I'm making this video because there's no possibility when you have stop voice you can cut and edit so just want to think want to make it something like that hope you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe see you don't forget to thumbs up take care peace Okay guys, so first I was thinking not to talk but again I was thinking like this video is very important and very useful for everyone so I was thinking okay let's talk about here is a free internet data Wi-Fi router modem I just open it okay so here you can see the basic chips let me zoom okay so once you open your modem you can find something like that first thing if you don't know how to do it learn first and if you are not expert to open I will recommend don't open it and you can contact with your any expert or service center guy maybe he can have for you and then what you have to do there's a chip this is a hotspot chip as you can see it's new to the antenna this is voltage voltage regulator transformer it's like a little bit magnet magnetic <coughs> you can see if something is like this it can stick like magnet actually there's a little bit magnetic effect here <coughs> this is kind of actually transformer and this is capacitor and these all area this all area is belongs to your power supply and this is a power supply regulator ic so before we start, I'm just a little bit giving you explanation. What I have to do, as you can see, when we open this, this area, mostly we connect our internet is coming from our I ISP, right? So there's uh, the, as you can see, LAN 1, LAN 2, and here ADSL. ADSL, we can connect with ADSL or LAN 1, LAN 2 to give out for internet. Or this is a hotspot. This is the Wi-Fi transmission antenna, right? Okay, 
So how we can do it? We will not connect any ADCL cable here. So how you can receive internet? We get receive internet from air and transmit to our antenna, to our devices like computer and mobile phones or whatever you want. Okay, so the first step, how we receive internet? Because when we see normally this kind of modem, we have only one section here, right? This is ADSL. So we receive from ADSL, but the question is now, when you not connect ADSL, how you receive internet to transmit here and it will transmit to you, to your computer or mobile. So the answer is, <coughs> we have to get internet from the SIM card, We buy because this SIM card is connected to the network. No matter this SIM card, you can go to any country. Any SIM card, you when you travel even to another country, it goes to roaming, right? Because no matter what, it's connected to any other network. So what we have to do, we have to bypass internet and we have to put that SIM card on the main Wi-Fi chip. So now when internet connect here and we have to get one magnet, this is one mm magnet and six centimeter diameter. <coughs> we have to place this here on the top just like that so stick with this <coughs> what we will use it just a little bit hot glue so <coughs> what hot glue is gonna do simple and easy way to stick let me <coughs> zoom so you can see more better yeah okay one by one step one thing first step i put a little bit hot glue here okay and <coughs> put my sim card here in the middle uh, this side, as you can see, in here. Okay. Not properly because I take a little long time. Okay, we'll put it again. So I'll make it quick. I don't want to cut the video because I want you to see, guys, how exactly I'm doing. So you can do it more easily. Okay. Now, stick properly. Okay, the next step, put hot glue again, slightly, and the magnet will be here on the top. Okay, as you can see, perfect. So now, this method, I need to have aluminum foil tape. Here you can see, this is, <coughs> let me zoom out. This is the aluminum foil tape I normally use. So I'm going to cut the small piece like this and like this. <coughs> Watch the video carefully. I'm going to demonstrate <coughs> everything here. Sorry. I got a little bit flu actually, but I think it's okay. It's part of life. So yeah, it's very tiny. So as you can see, this is aluminum foil tape. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place it exactly, just straight. Okay. Simple. Not too big. It should cover just the magnet. Not too big, it will contact to your any just slightly small and once you press here keep it up area so it's not going to touch anything down as you can see it's far from all connectors and if you see you can just just do like this and now you can see it's not connecting to any terminals and here also i can show you it's not connecting to any terminal and if it fails, i just make it like this so it's very safe okay as you can see it's not connecting to any terminals. Yeah, right here you can see. So, this is the step first. And now, I'm going to close this modem. This is a simple thing. What have happens, because we are not going to use any cable here, we're not going to use any ADS ADCL, uh, ADCL connection. So, how we get internet? Now we're getting our internet transmit to here. Not through here, but through here. And we will transmit out, in from here, out from here okay i will show you the live demonstration first thing okay here you can see this is a wi-fi name my speedy da64 okay remember this one okay if you forget you can go back uh, rewind your, the video and you can see again when i connect to my mobile okay i'm going to close it very carefully 
And as you can see, this is no hassle. There's no difficulty because everything stick here properly. So you don't have to worry, nothing will come out <coughs> if everything is fine. So you just have to put everything. Okay, I have to put the button here first. Um, yeah, here's the button. And this is the button, power button. I'm going to, I'm going to show you everything properly as you can see. Okay, first thing, I have to put the antenna. Okay, you can see antenna goes here. And okay, as you can see, everything on the place here. Power button is not working. Okay, now, yeah, it's working. Okay, now you can see here the click wise, everything is perfectly properly. So I can test, but I'm sure I'm confirmed, so I'm going to close. But if you don't want to close, you can test like this, but I want to do everything properly. So, okay, everything. Now your modem is ready for free internet Wi-Fi. The question is how I'm going to turn on. Mostly, as you can see, this is a 12 volt, 5 ampere power, right? So now I'm not using the power adapter for portability. I want to show you my more bigger area. Okay. Yeah. So now I'm going to connect with this power bank. Actually, this is a 5 volt power bank, standard USB. But this is what I'm using. Actually, you can use also. This is another useful information. It converts 5 volt to 12 volt adapter, USB charging cable, as you can read. So it's very useful for travel. So I connect USB here. As you can see, lights are on. And now I'm going to, you can place the antenna if there's a long distance. So now I'm going to put here 12 volt and the switch is off. When I place here, no lights. And I'm going to turn on from here. One, two, three. Okay, now you can see the modem is on here, right? Now the modem is on here. And what I'm going to do, I will on, I will on my Wi-Fi on my mobile. Okay, as you can see, it's getting on because of uh, light in the room. Maybe you can see proper lights. Okay, uh, you see here is no SIM card. Okay, I put it here in the side. Okay, now you can see all data, everything is closed. <coughs> Let me on the brightness. Okay, everything is closed. I'm going to turn on Wi-Fi. And here you can see ADCL lights are blinking. Okay. <coughs> Now you can see <coughs> it's connect. It's connect to my SPD. Exactly the same network from this modem I show you. Here you can see. You remember you can go back and check my modem name and it's connected. But signal is not very good as you can see because antenna is not there. <coughs> so now it's connected and the main thing is connecting modem is not a problem. But are we really getting internet? This is the question. So I'm going to open Amazon right here. My screen had problem sometime. Oh. See, it's not work. Okay. Yeah. You can see here Wi-Fi icon. And yeah, boom, is working. And I want to show you first. Here is the network also. It's the same. My SPD, right? So the modem is here now. Lights are on, connected. And here is our free internet hotspot router modem at your home. Click on some link here, for example okay camera yeah okay let's try to download some app on google store to make sure okay for example mobile legend is just a game okay i'm going to click same network is connected you can read it and here the game start downloading here you can see right my be speed is not very good it can up and down depending on your country and how but i just do make it quickly to show for example instagram is already installed maybe okay crash of chrome let's try to download this oh uh, yeah maybe small game okay this boom beach so very simple and easy method but i will still recommend you if you guys don't know how to open and this is your first time you never open anything i will recommend you uh don't try it in your home because find some expert who can help you to open your modem okay you can see here three percent already download so this is the most explained video i think um many people should have no question as you can see uh maybe internet as you can see wi-fi is just a little bit lost i have to make connection stronger more oh maybe the battery is low and the modem is yeah because i'm using a power bank it's not very uh, recommended if you use that you can see it's connecting and disconnecting yeah it's connected already and now boom beach
still stalling. I don't want to stall that game actually. But anyway, yeah. So use the power original uh, power cable. I'm using this. So anyway, bring on. You see, there's, that was a hundred percent power bank and it's drained the battery very much, and I think it's not very suitable. So it's getting very hot also. <laughs> I just do for demonstration here. So yeah, I just do for demonstration. So I will hope you understand the point. Now you can see close app as of. Now it's closed already, so it's gone already. So yeah. Now it's off. Wi-Fi is off, or even I just on Wi-Fi here, and it's connect to my Wi-Fi. Okay, for example, I forget it, close it, and cancel. No internet, so it's not gonna work. So yeah, simple, easy method. Uh, simple and easy method. Anyone can do at home. You use the uh, main power source. I just make a demonstration for quick, but the power bank actually quickly drains because of 5 volt conversion to 12 volt. So yeah, that's the simple and easy method how you can get free internet data from your modem and router at home. See you in the next video. Hope you like it. Don't forget to like. And you can ask in the comment if you have any question. Uh, many videos nowadays, I don't want to talk much because of my security of my channel. I hope you will get my point. So this work only smart people can do. Not everyone believe even. Not everyone can understand. So if you know what my mean is, I think you don't have to ask me more detail than this. Especially in the video. Maybe in the comment I can answer you. See you. Thumbs up. Hi everyone with another video and this video is going to be very simple and easy method for anyone who really want to have free internet, Wi-Fi, data, unlimited, anywhere. Okay, so here I have a very first thing I want to show you the mobile. This is Motorola mobile as you can see. Okay, as you can see in the start there is no SIM card, emergency calls only. As you can see, no SIM icon also here, right? I will open it and here you can see this phone sometime the screen didn't respond so i use this old phone to make all the experiments and i have another sony Ericsson, samsung even iphone but this phone i just keep it because for me easy uh, so i just so here you can see okay sim one no sim card sim two no sim card right okay and if i want to open some website or something as you can see google Am uh, sorry amazon no internet right as you can see so what i'm going to do i make a very special sim and here I want to show you and share with you that SIM card. Okay. First what I'm going to do is bring out this SIM card tray. Close this. Bring out this SIM card tray from here. Okay. Now the SIM card tray is out and here you can see this is dual SIM. SIM 1, SIM 2. This is dual SIM and this side is memory card. So what I'm going to do, I have to place my special SIM in slot number 2. Okay. So this is the special SIM. Might be you are curious. This thing I will tell you in the last. But first, I, how I made it, I will tell you. But first, let me complete the demonstration for this SIM card. So as you can see, there is no logo, nothing. And I hope you get some idea if you are a really smart person. But let's see. Okay. So I'm going to place the SIM in the SIM number 2 slot 2 and I'm going to put it back here you can see and at the same time okay as you can see no sim card option uh, no sim card notification is here and I'm going to place boom and it's going to be finished see no service right because this sim is actually not activated it's, this is the old sim actually used to before was active sim I don't recommend you you get any block sim if you want use this method you have to sim card that is long time didn't use it and not activated anymore I mean in the past it have network it is it was used to it but after maybe one year or few months you didn't use it at, at all so i hope you get my point is the sim card should be not the new blocked one or not activated one okay so now the sim card inside as you can see still i open it and i'm trying to show you exactly the same amazon and try again you see there's no internet because actually sim card is inside now you can see here is the data <coughs> data section is on but there is a small question mark not question but like like what right if i close you see data is closed before there is no sim even data didn't work it because no sim card but now sim card no service but still you see data icon is working right and second to sim 2 there is no there is no sim card so the second slot is empty no service here this is sim 2 this side and no service right so no service mean the proof is here you can see can't on anything even google play store 
yeah it's, it's just the old something but if i click on it as you can see offline like it didn't work so uh how are we going to start our method now so what we're going to do we turn upside down our mobile here so the next method is as we know our sim card is here and actually it's not here the sim card is in the last second slot almost in the in the last area so what we're going to do we take a small tiny magnet is 1 mm thick and 4 mm uh, 5 mm diameter we're going to take it and we're going to put little hot glue on it i hope it's not stick to my hand and then i'm going to place in the end sim top no slightly in this other side <coughs> better i will just put glue here on the phone and just stick put the magnet here okay now you see this is the second sim side actually this is a sim one this is sorry the first is memory card and then sim one and sim two this side is almost so it should be the top of the sim two okay so second we need another magnet and we put it near the door side right here and we stick that small magnet here one thing i want to tell you this method is totally harmless so you don't have to worry the hot glue is very easy to remove so there's no danger for hot glue and you can keep it you can do your experiment and after you can remove any time so no problem and then we take a small paper clip as an antenna and we're gonna stick it like this automatically as you can see it stick very well just like this simple and it's not going anywhere no matter what because already magnets are here and the same is down with the special coating and now same thing no service as you can see our system is here okay so now i'm going to open as you can see no service here i'm going back to the old s i already opened let's see one two three i hope boom that's worked perfectly as you can see even here is <coughs> no service no network nothing and here we can see our internet is working perfectly thumbs up for that let's click something open some other products and here you can see working very smooth and quite fast actually uh, let's go to the google play store okay yeah you can see it was no internet and suddenly it's detect the internet let's try to download some app small app so we have some idea the downloading can tell you here it is thumbs up so yeah that is a simple and easy method and everyone can do at home it's nothing dangerous it's very simple and easy method for anyone and you can try a different mobile, uh, but I'm not sure it's going to work. This is a free internet, data, Wi-Fi, anywhere at home, demonstration, educational purpose only. So what I'm going to do now, close this here, exactly same place. And now I'm going to remove all that method, simple. Let me take picture for thumbnail. I have to take picture for thumbnail before I remove it. Sorry, guys. Okay. yeah okay okay now what i'm going to do just remove it this you can see very simple and easy and your hot glue can remove without any harm that is a plastic rubber kind of rubbery so there's no worry for scratches or any mark no now your phone is clean and good to go as new as before right here okay so what i'm going to do now I'm going to bring out, even the SIM card is still inside because our real method is here. So no matter, SIM still inside in the same condition, no service. I'm going to click anything you can see, it's not going to work. The same, same thing here, as you can see, start, not work, not work at all. So now I'm going to bring out the SIM, I want to show you the real magic, 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 magic. So yeah, here it is, you can see. Our SIM card is here and I'm going to put it back. The real thing is, this SIM card might be some people they understand what is what is about but actually this SIM card is coated by aluminium foil, only the top, top side. So what I'm going to do is just remove it and you can have idea actually. But if you have a question how this is aluminium tape. I isolate this sim with aluminium tape 
and now I'm going to bring out to give you some idea as you can see so I want to make more videos I don't want to actually bring out this so this is aluminium foil tape okay yeah I put it back because very nicely I make it special this sim card okay I will show you this is simple aluminium foil tape you can find online maybe Amazon or eBay and you can continue your project it's very simple <coughs> so here is our sim card and yeah hope you like it don't forget to thumbs up see you in another video and now yeah again I want to show you the status of the mobile after I bring out same everything as you can see no sim card and then I try to open again everything nothing working close it nothing working even I put <coughs> install nothing so here you can see now the two sim card sim one here sim two here i always recommend my video watch completely many people they get excited they quickly want to watch video and they quickly skip 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 and want to get to the point <coughs> sorry you want to get to the point but sometimes you can skip some points so you have to be careful when you watch educational video any kind of video watch carefully and properly even two times three times it's not my video any video so i will highly recommend you okay now i give you some idea about uh, the magnets here these two magnets so okay i take one so as you can see this is centimeter and between centimeters this is small small is mm so as you can see okay as you can see this is this magnet is as i told you exactly one mm this is one mm and here you can see almost five six mm diameter if you see in the middle to another corner actually is considered six exactly the size is you can see uh, slightly bigger than 5 mm so this is 6 mm so these magnets you can find easily on ebay amazon or aliexpress you can see how you can get but i think it's not a difficult thing and paper clip might be you want to know actually paper clip have two sizes uh, some paper clips are a little bit bigger but this one is smaller if you see here this is a bigger paper clip so i think i no need to tell about this but uh, suddenly i think maybe some people they can get confused about paper clip because in the video you didn't get idea right <clears throat> so the paper clip is here right i can tell you this is almost three cent uh, three centimeter or maybe two two and a half centimeter around that and <clears throat> almost six centimeter wide so uh because this one as antenna so slightly up and down it should be no problem uh, as you can see my every my even the ruler everywhere is magnet <laughs> So it's difficult for me to control the magnet on my table because I have a different kind of different shape. A lot of magnets, I have it. So yeah, that is, uh, I hope I tell very explain uh, and I tell everything very detailed in this video. If you still have any question, you can ask me. Uh, I will try to reply as soon as possible, but sometime I can't reply all, all comments because there's a lot of comments. And I think mostly basic all things I mentioned already in the videos. If I miss something, you can ask me. Hope you like the video. See you. Take care. Thumbs up.
So here you can see MySpeedy at this is the login Wi-Fi and here you can see MySpeedy at DA same. So now there is no internet. So of course as you can see it's need to connect but currently I put the phone on the side here. Because no internet here, no cable here connected, so how you get internet bypass? From the air, we get internet and transfer to our device. So we don't have to connect any of these cables. So let's see how we can do very simple and easy method at home. Wi-Fi, modem, router, hotspot. So first, we have to disconnect the cable. This is a power button here. I just click already open so no need to waste the time so first we need our sim card sim card should be activated you can use any other sim Verizon, AT&T, Vodafone, Orange or different kind of networks so the sim card should be activated number two thing we need a magnet strong magnet this magnet 8 mm 8 mm diameter and two mm two mm thick. First here you can see controller and another chip. These are the main chips. These this is a power IC so it's connected with the power system. So here voltage regulator you can see here first we have to place our magnet you can do a simple easy method magnet is not balanced so I will remove and I will stick properly again I'm doing everything in front of you so in case anything okay now it's quite balanced and then going to place our SIM card on it. As you can see here, Now, we will get only simple one magnetic isolator. This is not a magnet for give you proof. You just have to place this exactly on the middle. And as you can see, it's come perfectly to the same. So what I'm going to do, simply put the glue. Okay, perfect. As you can see, it's not harmful, it's not dangerous. The reason is the down is a plastic glue, so it's just isolate our SIM card. It's just isolate our SIM card, but not harmful for anything.
So now, what we're going to do? Simple. Turn on. Okay, first I want to show you. As you can see, there is no network because it's turned off. So I'm going to turn on, and then you can see the network. You come out here. As you can see, the lights in the room. As you can see, speedy network here. So what I'm going to do is connect my network. internet let's see okay okay as you can see because it's not connected but let's we are going to try now internet as you can see it's connected but it show no internet but let's see one two three yeah it's working as you can see it's connected same network as I show you. Okay. Now maybe I'm going to see the speed test. Let's try to close all the app. Try again. Try to download something from internet. Let's see. Because I didn't find the speed test, let's try to download. We can close and on again one time. No internet. Let's try to download again. Yeah. Let me adjust position. Antenna. As you can see, if there's no internet, this thing not come, but sometimes it takes a little bit time. So, let's go to the Google and try speed test. Speed test. Because it should be work. Okay. This method is very working and very fast actually, but currently I do everything in front of you. Let's close internet and find the network and try again. Okay, I forget it. This network and maybe yeah, it's connected. Wow. Great. Perfect. 1MB, a little bit up and down. So this is exactly I try in front of you. The reason is 
sometime same we have to troubleshoot let's try to download again some game like last time we should as you can see here yeah perfect as you can see the network exactly the same and the game is downloading yeah speed is not that much but it will be adjust so yeah let's open amazon and you can see the network same At least the speed is up and down. You can adjust later. You can adjust, but at least the experiment is successful. That is the real. Nobody will tell you this method. The reason is, of course, I want to speed test on the Google Chrome, Android. Okay, click here. The famous one speed test we all know speed is not very good but later I will find out but this is the method might be it can work very fast for you might be a little bit less but yeah that is the simple and easy method okay This takes slightly time, but because this is the real experiment, everything I done, everything in front of you, so you can manage to bypass. Now, the one thing, the basic thing, you have to bypass the password and the signal, and after the next method, speed up and down, you can adjust with your settings with the modem. So now you can see speed is less than one MB or one MB, but at least you are, if you are successfully managed, the next step will be easy, because the main thing you have to bypass the password and get the internet here. Hope you like the video. Very simple. And now I want to simply put this device here and I want to show you oh, okay the reason is slightly as you can see the magnet stick with that that's the one of the reason our internet was getting problem because it was not properly okay let's reconnect it on the side and then let me connect and see how it's gonna work the main reason I find out hold on the main reason was because the magnet was a little bit displaced. That's the reason. Hold on. Okay. So we're going to place back, bring out the old glue. And first I want to close the modem. Okay. Modem is closed already. And remove this. And might be the glue was not very proper so i want to make everything in front of you because exactly many people can have this problem actually i can cut that part or i can delete that part it's easy for me but the thing is when normal person who try to make and they have some obstacles and some problems come out so might be this helpful for people rather than i just make it perfectly the thing and i find out like oh this is the reason so many people can understand this is the reason okay this is the reason why the things not work sometimes properly and now it will be stick very nicely 100% will not go anywhere okay almost in the middle but it's exactly not in the middle but it's okay as much as it's it, the the magnetic coil isolator should be in the middle so that is as you can see actually what the problem little bit start from when we put the ma magnetic isolator the magnet catch it like this as you can see I put in the middle so automatically it take it wants you don't want to leave the magnet but we have to keep it in the middle now this time the glue is much stronger so again the sim card I will put some hot glue here a little bit zoom these all obstacles actually can come with you guys so this time the speed should be the best and better so let it be a little dry and after that we will be uh, put the magnetic isolator on it so now I'm going to place again 
maybe that time my glue gun was not actually really hot i just plug in so it small one not very expensive one so it takes time now exactly placing in the middle okay let it be dry not quickly start but i'm going to turn on plug on so you can see things get okay all lights on the modem is on here place it here and take mobile so let's see everything yeah it's connected as you can see it's connected on and let's see this time the speed should be let it a little bit dry and on stable the connection yeah okay i think now better we can Go to the speed test. Speed test. Everything is proper. Wow. Thumbs up. This is online speed test. As you can see, this is online speed test. Google. Google Translate. G G W O L E Google. As you can see, this is Google here. Google.com. Dot, .com. Simple Google.com. And here I write again, speed test. Automatically you can see. Here you can see. Let's go to fast speed test. And here you can see online speed test. Thumbs up. And everything working perfectly. As you can see, the modem is also turned on. You can see lights are on so amazing great download something same thing well as you can see this time speed is very fast let's try another game perfect so guys everything there's a reason everything i do in front of you here so hope you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe and share see you take care Here our old modem, Wi-Fi, USB, SIM card modem and this is the technique you can use if you have some small old modem and this modem is SIM card, Wi-Fi, not Wi-Fi, it looks like Wi-Fi but actually new devices is only Wi-Fi but this is that time almost like few years back is use the SIM card and that SIM card like 3G SIM card, 2G, 3G SIM card you can get internet when you insert but if you don't have SIM card normally it's not work so how you will use it to get a free internet from any sim card now you can see very simple just insert your new sim card any kind of your new sim card you need a jack uh, sorry i mean jacket sim card jacket is like standard for example if now you have any 3g or 4g sim card because 3g or 4g sim card still support 3g so this modem mostly they support 3g so you're gonna put the jacket on your new sim card and you're just going to as you can see the arc here should be like this and it's placed inside okay and then you need to have one small mag hold on i will show you one mm only one mm thick and almost 10 mm width magnet place on the top right here and cover it And lock it okay as you can see it's closed completely and now we're going to close wrap the magnet side aluminium foil tape okay all 
or it's much better if we will place alongside so it will complete cover bottom is this is the much better method just the front top area cover is more important down is not that important because our magnet is on top and okay now might be question in your mind we're going to connect because normally this modem we can connect with any mobile so we use a converter but the first thing i want to show you here as you can see there's no wi-fi there's no sim card and phone on the airplane mode no matter even i finish airplane mode or i on it it's the same no sim card here no sim card let's try to open some try again as you can see there's no internet same thing google play store no internet so what we're going to do just connect this device and see how it's work okay now i'm going to connect this and boom it's connected yeah so let me little zoom okay now you can see the device in the same time you can see okay okay let's start on the background same app one two three you can see it was just let's try to download some game small okay yeah you can see very fast okay Now, I'm going to do a speed test again. Yeah. You can see. Simple and easy method. As you can see here, if I remove. Here. Here you can see. The light is turning on and yes you can see it's detecting the internet and the green light is turned on this means it's working perfect simple and easy method i hope you guys can understand it's not difficult everyone can do it at home i hope you like the video and now i'm going to remove it and this simple method here in front of you as you can see that now the device is removed so i'm going to try again everything same okay right here you can see no internet let's try to download some game you can see i'm offline and again try to download the same amazon no internet at all so yeah that's the simple and easy method you can ask me anything for question i tell all the detail in the video if you will not skip for sure you will know what is dimension and what kind of stuff i use see you next video take care Hi everyone so here this video I made it actually before but before I remove I want to some people if they are missing this video so I want to show you the most easiest way how you can get free internet data Wi-Fi anywhere you can see there is no internet Let me zoom. As you can see, no Wi Fi, no SIM card, and here you can see no SIM card. 
and everything is closed even Wi-Fi mode is off but here you cannot see anything internet so it doesn't matter I just make it on to make sure there is no sim inside so how we going to start the video so let's close this one and now I'm going to okay so now I'm going to plug in the device let me okay I'm going to turn on one two three and here you can see the light is on here if I remove this device you cannot see the light anymore but if I plug now you cannot see anything you cannot see any light here right but once I plug in here you can see the light yeah if I remove it here closed so when our device is connected here you can see device is connected so the Wi-Fi device is on now so let's try everything on the background this app one two three here you can see it's working perfect yeah let's try some speed test yeah thumbs up and let's see some download some game or some app small okay so this method is the most simple and easy method that's the reason I want to make video again so now the device is ready and here you can see and after that I'm going to remove and I will show you how I made it so yeah cancel it so as you can see everything in front of you and here is no data nothing and I'm going to remove this and I want to try it now exactly this time one two three again same app and now I'm going to install some another app and as you can see because the device is removed and everything as it is in the background I'm going to try again here yeah you can see so here yeah, I mean so now I'm going to show you how this all things work very simple and easy first this is a micro USB converter if you have type C or micro USB so you can connect your uh, Wi-Fi device to any mobile so this is only converter there's nothing special thing here number two thing is here aluminium foil tape I'm going to remove it Yeah, okay simple one magnet is down and I will show you the dimension okay so here is one magnet with aluminium tape and the magnet dimension I'm going to show you now first you can see yeah so
So here is the size. And the thickness. Three mm, four mm, four mm thick. As my, as you can see yourself. So, and then just the simple activated SIM card I put with the tape. And I'm going to remove it. Yeah, as you can see, simple. Now the same same method I'm going to show you here. Here's the mobile. Here's our free internet things all. Now I'm going to connect everything as it is in front of you. Okay, this and okay, everything on the background, and here you can see it's not working at all. The reason is our Wi Fi isolation bypass system is gone, so now everything, as you can see. nothing no sim card no wi-fi turn on nothing and here you can see the same device is not working because the method the simple the most simple and easy method is here so yeah they're simple and i think everyone have this simple you can get it only two dollar one or two dollar this magnet you can order online and the sim cards we all have it but the sim card should be not block should be activated and working condition so yeah simple hope you like the video don't forget to see you next video